Hey there, wig friends. Nikki here. Welcome back to my channel. I upload on Mondays, Thursdays, Fridays, and I also do surprise uploads. So please join the party. All you have to do is click that subscribe button down below. If you already have, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. My videos typically premiere around noon on my scheduled days, so I do apologize that today's video is showing up a little bit later. That's because I am reviewing a wig today, and I knew that she was going to be arriving in the mail today so just had to wait for the mail to get here and she's also a subscriber request I love getting these so if there is a wig you'd like me to review please drop that down in the comments while you're down there make sure you let me know about your thoughts on this wig since I will be giving you every little detail about her that I think you should know about so let's get into talking about her today I have got Tiana she's from Outre and she's also from the perfect hairline collection she is a 13 by 4 lace front the color I have her in is DR4 slash Tiramisu. I'll be honest, she doesn't come in very many colors. Uh, six colors. I don't think that's the greatest selection, but at least the ones that she is available in are pretty. And uh, she is heat safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I picked her up from So Good BB for $35.99. And this here is Tiana. I'm always up for a bob, you know that. <laughs> so let me show you her cap construction here. Really nice lace here in the front, looks transparent. It is HD after all. She does have some baby hairs going on. And on the inside, if I can get it flipped out, inside out here, she does have the attached elastic band. You can see all that lace for free parting. She has a one comb here, a one comb over here, and then she does also have a comb in the back. She also comes with adjustable straps and the mesh lining. So let me see what her stretchability is like. It's not bad, actually. I can live with that. <laughs> so let me go put her on, style her up, and then I'll be right back. All right, everybody, are you ready to hear about Tiana? Well, that is what I'm here to do and tell you about her. She's a bob. You know I love that. I'm a huge lover of bobs. I think they're great everyday type styles. In fact, if you're ever on the fence as to which wig to wear, just reach for a bob. You can't go wrong with it. The only problem is now I fit the stereotype of a Karen. Why do they have to give Karens bobs? That just ruined the hairstyle for me. <laughs> I'm not a Karen, by the way. All right, moving forward, her cut I do like. I think it's a nice cut, but it isn't what I thought it was going to be. In the photo, she appears to have more of a blunt cut going on. See that right here? And even in this picture, there is a slight curvature, but it's still blunt. Yet that's not what I'm really getting with her. Now, I do have some of the hair to the back, but you can see that it has that natural curvature to it, which... Like I said, I like, it's pretty, but I think you'll be really disappointed if you were expecting that blunt cut. And that's why I think she reminds me a lot of Danita. They uh, both are 13 by 4s from the Perfect Hairline. Even the colors are very similar between this one and the DR6 Champagne Fizz that I had her in. I do see a difference in the density, though. I think that Danita was slightly fuller. Now, let me grab all the hair here, and you can see her density is still really good. Don't get me wrong on that. Really good, natural, full density. So if you do like thicker hair, I think you will like Tiana. And her length is about 18 inches. And I think she even looks a little longer on me than the stock card photo, too. Just my opinion. But 18 inches is what I'm putting her at. That's a great length. And there is no layering going on here. This color fabulous. It is a great shade to go with. I think it looks professional. Really nicely blended. You got the number four root. And you can see how well it mixes down into this blonde shade here. Love the tones they have in this color. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. And look at this luster. Oh my god. Yeah. Looks healthy. That's the kind of luster I really like to see. I don't see any dullness or wiggy shine going on with her. And I'm going to spin around so you can see her from the back. Her 
Her texture is very nice. It is yakky. However, I think that she's still going to work out as being a multicultural unit for some people. Of course, it just depends on what your natural texture is like and your personal preference, but I think she will work out for some people. And it feels realistic. Very nice texture. I'm not having anything excessive as far as tangling goes. In fact, I'm not getting any tangling. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> I, of course, I'm thrilled with that. Uh, I definitely think this is going to be a great wig to wear to work and when you're on the go. I mean, obviously, I already said it's perfect for every situation. But the fact that she's easy to manage, yeah, you can't go wrong with that either. And even though she is blonde and there was a lot of processing involved to get this color, that usually results in more shedding. But I'm not getting anything nothing out of the ordinary really so no problems with that either she's the 13 by 4 I opted to go with the right sided part today as you can see this is amazing this is why I like the perfect hairline it's a great hairline I love the baby hairs right here amazing this looks so realistic and of course if you're one that likes to lay down your baby hairs this is a perfect placement for them and I was very uh, I had no problem I mean uh, blending this so it's very easy to blend and I did put some powder on the part right on um, the part but the lace right up in here but I didn't along the sides now granted this isn't the best pre-plucking right there however I still think this looks realistic because you got the baby hairs going on here this could definitely look worse so I'm not mad at that and same thing with this side of course if you glue it down that's going to help with making her look more realistic too but I don't think she's really one that you have to glue down I mean granted no wig is one you have to glue down I just noticed that with the perfect hairline units or the melted hairline units they tend to look more realistic when they are glued down but she's one I think you can get away with being just fine without gluing her and I did have to apply some heat right up here. I think she's got a bit of a bump right here. I think I'm going to have to use some more heat there, but that's nothing I'm really concerned about. She's easy to get ready, even though she was the 13 by 4. Sometimes you have to put more time and effort into those, but not with her. She was quick, ready to go. So I am giving her a thumbs up. I think this is a great unit. Now I have to decide if I want to keep her and Danita or sell one of them <laughs> which reminds me I did put the link to my Poshmark closet like I always do please check it out but I say she's a good one to go with so I do recommend her so, and that's what I have to say about Tiana I'm really glad that somebody asked me to review her otherwise I think that she would have went under my radar so that's it for today thank you guys for watching and I will just see you in my next video so until next time Bye-bye.